Hello, my Miss Percibles. And I am here with a mini, mini haul for you guys today. So as you know, some of you guys know what's going on. I just want to give a shout out to Miss Toya. First and foremost, like, listen, you are such a blessing. Like, she have been reaching, she have reached out to me. I have had some um, of my subscribers that have um, reached out and lend a helping hand as well as Miss Toya. But I just appreciate it. It means so much to me um, what you did and also checking in to make sure everything is okay anyway i just want to get into this so my lovely love he i don't know knows like when he just just basically wants me to put a smile on my face gift kind of thing you know so anyway i have a mini haul here and as i stated before i had some things um that I also want to share with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this stuff out. So, because this is the box. Um, this is how they sent it. And this also came from the store itself. I don't know what I'm going to need. Just a plain bag for if it's already in the box. But okay. <laughs> okay. And this is just the inside of the box with the uh, Mark Jacobs wrapping paper. So I'm going to go ahead and um, toss that um, down there on the floor. So, I don't need that either. So let's get into it. So I kind of did open up one of these, which is this. Um, the first item I have is a charm. Oh, listen, I love it, y'all. So, so this is the Mark Jacobs. Uh, I forgot the name of this charm because the bag is not a uh, as popular bag. I was trying to see if I could find. It. Um. Oh, and I knew. It. I think it's the J. <laughs> so, I forgot but it is in um floral candy pink and it is such a beautiful beautiful pink it's a very light soft pink it is so pretty so I got this charm as you know Marc Jacobs had to sell with the some discount extra 20% off or whatever I don't know but I know the charm was like $40 or something like that and I think it's like this magnetic um, opening to her. Because I'm trying to... Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to... Oh. Yeah. So, it just snaps closed like that. Um, It's a, such a light... Such a light, light pink. But, yeah. So, this is she. And it comes with this... undetachable I'm trying to get this out y'all it comes with this undetachable chain so when you clip it it really looks like this so it doesn't clip I wish he had made it where it can be clipped off so if you want to like clip it onto something other than this that would have been nice but it's supposed to be part of the bag's design I guess how the bag is made itself so it's still cute, like a cute little sleek design. Very pretty. So we have that. And like I said, I think that's in that was in full candy pink. Let's see what we have. You learn in game. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. All see now. I see y'all. Y'all see they baby. 
not a canvas. Not the canvas. I'm sorry, but look, it got stains on it. Look at that. Was that dust already on there? Yeah, that's what that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I listen. So it is the Mark Jacobs. I think it's a small, small canvas tote bag. I don't know if I even want to. I should I? I may just keep it. Forget it. I may just keep it. Cause I just don't know how people can get. Well, this one is black. My, I don't know, but I do be hearing lint problems about all these. But this is the small Marc Jacobs tote bag um, in black. The canvas. I wonder why he don't get dust bags for the canvas either. But it does have that crossbody scrap in there. And it is of Civitone Hardware. Y'all, listen, I realized that oh, looking at all what I've been getting lately, I think I got one gold tone hardware bag uh, that I bought this year. I think most of my tote bags, petal pink, hot pink, candy pink. Yeah, they all Civitone hardware. <laughs> all those are Civitone hardware. I was trying to think, am I missing the bag? Because I don't know. But yeah, this is it. The inside. There's no inside compartments. Do the canvas not have an inside pocket to it? But you get Marc Jacobs written all on the inside. This is she. Okay, so let's put that off to the side. I will come back with showing you. Oh, it says, Dilla Ray, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy your bag. Love, Jose. So. Oh. And this is the final item. I'm also going to do a comparison. So this is she. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wanted this. I opened up the box but I did not look. I wanted this to I wanted to see this with you guys. But this is the small clear tote bag. Oh my Gosh. So as I stated, um, I had already so this is the scrap, and this is also of Civitone hardware as well as the um mini duffel. So that's the scrap, and then it has this. Come on. Does it come out? Oh, yeah, it does. So, it has that hot pink lining. It's so pretty. That pink is just so pretty. You get the little slip card case right there. And, like I said, a zip compartment is in there of her. I love that they did a zip compartment with the small one as well. Because normally the small don't get a zip. It's just a slip. So, I really, really love that. But this is the bag. On the website, it did display as though the clear ones are bigger in size. But, it looks the same to me. That's not compare. I mean, because looking at that way, hold on. It does look a little, maybe, longer. Let me go. Let me see something. Oh, 
Look at the scrap. And it's like the same scrap as that. So like, now I got three black scraps of dip. Hold on, you guys. Okay, so this is a small leather tote. And they look exactly the same to me, y'all. I don't know, like what mark was talking about when he said that <laughs> this one is bigger i do like the fact that it's the clamps like the piece to clamp it on the outside like this the scrap is on the outside instead of in there and let's see the height and this one actually looks taller i mean i know i thought my eyes was deceiving me but i was looking at this bag like is it just me or does the clear look a little smaller and the opening is not like a wide opening it does have that little dip curve to it you can wear it handheld like by the handle or you can use her as a crossbody bag the good thing about the clear one is that he did manage this time to put feet under the bottom so i do like that he did that added that touch when i first okay so oh let's see with the um mesh as well hold on you guys and this is it in the mesh so i wanted to get different um hold on i need to put hold on let me let me see if i can go ahead and stuff this so you can see all of them in different materials um how they really 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 look okay so i just want to add this. i'm just trying to put something um, stuff it out really quick so it's because it's very very flimsy right now this um canvas so just be patient with me y'all right quick okay so i just want to show y'all now this is the canvas packed and these are all let me move this out the way this is all the different materials so in the back we have leather then we have the pvc we have the mesh right and then we have that canvas They all look the same size to me. This one actually looks a tad bit smaller, but on this website, it says bigger. I won't know until I pack it out because it could be. Okay. As I'm looking at it, I, I now I see, I feel like the width at the bottom is the bigger part of the bag. Let me put it next to leather. Yeah. That, it, that, I don't know what y'all think. What y'all think? I don't know. I don't know. And then this is the mesh next to it. I don't know. And then the canvas. canvas just ooh. but they love yeah they love listen they be buying out them canvas i ain't gonna even lie they buy them things out they love them canvas to each his own and then we so we have pvc clear i love that bag i love this bag it is so cute um sitting i'm talking about signature <laughs> the canvas i can't lie okay so i love the feel of the canvas don't get me wrong i love the feel of the canvas i just don't like that people say after a while it basically changed the black changed to like this brownish color which not seen a whole video of a girl like her bag looked at brownish grayish it looked horrible it was so dirty and she i think it was like three items some type of i think um clothes dyeing or something she used and it was salt and uh dish liquid 
and steaming hot water. And baby, she turned her bag back to black like this. I also heard people say that they barely use their bags, but a few times and it even began to change. So I can't say, I don't know how I feel about the canvas, but it's a gift, so I can't complain. Um, anyway. Um, so this is the leather, leather. PVC. Mesh, leather, PVC, and canvas. So I, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. But if I still had to choose a favorite, like far as material, of course, um, leather is always at the top of my list. I love the feel of Marc Jacobs leather. And then I will have to go with, I can't even lie, even though I haven't used it. So I don't really want to make this judgment yet. I love this P I love this PVC. I thought it was been mesh because mesh was before I got this PVC. But the feel of this PVC is so thick. It's so nice. It is everything. So let me get into the backstory of this bag. When Mark Jacobs first came out with this collection of the PVC collection, his clear collection, whatever. So he had this in actually two colors. He have it in the yellow um, and white, and then he have it in this black and the hot pink. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, I really, 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 really want that. That is so nice. I wanted it actually in the duffel bag. Then I seen someone on, I want to say the Mark Jacobs Facebook group posted her bag and I was like, oh my gosh. And I went to the website, checked again and the price was still the same. I just wasn't willing to pay that price for the PVC at the time. So yeah, once I'm like really, really adamant in my mind that I'm not gonna buy or pay that amount for something, I just push it to the back of my head. Unless it's just something that I'm, I'm really adamant about getting. It wasn't something that I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. It was something like, oh my God, I want that. So <clears throat> I was like, okay, yeah, I'm not paying that price point. Fast forward, Mark Jacobs now has his markdown um, and these items went on markdown. Then he hit us with the extra 20% off. So I seen someone post in the Mark Jacobs Facebook group saying that the duffel was on sale ran over there i ran like i clicked so fast like the clickbait listen went over there completely sold out he had put that stuff on sale not even hours ago because i had already been on the website so everything the whole all the, the duffel bag collection was sold out i think it was only the white at the time and i did not want white white look like it's for a day at the beach i guess with the yellow black background it's giving sun i didn't like it it I, it's not ugly but it just wasn't for me and i don't do white like that so anyway i said okay if i can't get the duffel bag because i originally wanted the duffel went checked everything else as far as his P, his pvc collection i was looking at the um i was also interested in getting the pouch but i was like mm, how often would I actually use that pouch? Because I barely carry my Nolitas. So I was like, no, I really want a bag in it. So I went and looked at all the totes. I was willing to up go to the medium if the small was out of stock. Baby, everything was gone. I think the only thing that was left was the large tote bag in black. For the black. I'm not talking about white. So I went and I went and looking it up and everybody just about had it on sale. So at the last minute, last minute, while I'm thinking about, I seen it on uh, Nemus Marcus and I believe Nordstrom. And I was like, okay, I may go ahead and get the duffel because the totes, like at that point in time, all the totes everywhere in the black and pink was just completely sold out. So I was like, well, I I really originally wanted a duffel, but I know it's a mini and I love, 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 love. Matter of fact, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I was saying I actually love my um 
original size duffel. So I was like, well, if it's the small, do I really want a small bag? So now my mind is moving towards the tote. Now, at this point, I can't find the duffel nowhere. It's completely sold out in the black and pink. And then all the black and pink totes were sold out. So like I said, Nordstrom and Neiman's, Neiman's Marcus had the duffel for $125. It went with the extra 25% off at the time. So I was like, ugh. I don't know how far as the duffel purchase what made oh matter of fact i went and looked up because i was thinking i was like i wanted to do the stores having do mark jacobs do the uh the uh the label i mean um pay by um link so i called the closest one to me and they were completely out of stock but the guy was just so phenomenal he was sweet his customer service was over the top he said i had called three now already I think he was like the fourth. So he was like, listen, if you really want this bag, he was like, which one are you going for? I said, I really now at this point, I would like the tote in the black and pink. But if I can't find it, then either one, duffel or tote. And he was like, okay, I'm going to give you a call right back after I call all the stores in the, you know, that I can find. He gave me a call back probably about 20 minutes later and was like, I was able to find that mini duffel for you and you. And I got it at that price. So I bought it, got it. I still wasn't happy and I was letting me know. I was like, I really wanted to talk because I was just like, I don't know if it's serving my purpose that mini duffel. Like at, I'm at this point where I don't really carry much. So my, I need all my essentials at least with me. And if that bag can at least carry my essentials, it's not for me because I know I don't carry a whole lot. Y'all, I sold the mini duffel. I did. So after packing her up, playing with her on on video and everything like that, it just wasn't for me. I couldn't barely get every all my essentials in there. I really, really had to downgrade. I didn't want my stuff to be not in pouches or everything like that. As I did that packing of that video, I still realized that it was other things that I needed with me, even if I was going to work or going out. So... And it sold like literally an hour later after putting it up, y'all. Y'all want to understand. So I'm looking on Macari and all of that, and nobody has that stuff up. So y'all telling me everybody keeping these bags? That's crazy. So no wonder why the person who bought my mini duffel bought that thing so quick. I was able to, I was able, I called the same store I got the mini duffel from, right? They said, if you could find it, I'll get it. Okay. Called the store. I said, let me just, I mean, it don't hurt to try them. Even though I know I'm going to get a no. but Because every store was sold out. Like every store in different states and everything. I called the same store. And where I'm from, y'all, hey, Miami, Florida. And it was at the Inventure Mall. The same place I got the duffel bag. And they had, the guy say, I have two of the black small ones left two he said but they're not factory wrapped like the duffel was he was like they are open like for our far as i display and he was like i got one bot to go out now so that really leaves me with one left let me know if you want it i said i want it i want it give her to me so that was the end of the small I took the last one that we could find and in any store we call listen I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I got lucky. And no, I didn't get the I did get the bells and whistles. I'm not gonna lie. I still got my dust bag. They sent me all this. They had it wrapped in the, the notes and the cards. It was still nice. So I am thankful and happy. And then I got it at that settle point price, which was um 176 for the bag. And I am happy about that. So yeah, I just wanted to go through the rundown of this bag. I will come back and show you a what's in my bag on this baby. I just really wanted to show you this bag. 
um i did let go the mini duffel you guys even though i did the unboxing and basically a slash fucking fit after after i got off camera and had unpacked her i'm in there in here trying to maneuver everything around and it just wasn't for me i went ahead put that bag up and it sold an hour later so we now have this this beautiful mama and i will come back and show you what can fit I also may do a comparison and show like everything I have in there and does it still match up to what these hold definitely those I love the mesh so much I do want another mesh but she I, I'm thinking about I want not blackout but the black and pink one in the mesh but yeah I'm just so happy I defined this color y'all listen come here come here listen they all the white and yellow ones the duffel even the tote the bags ain't nobody about that mix sloppy listen i don't know why y'all listen why y'all do the yellow and white like that i can't even lie the black trim like the black is just more sexier and a lot of people don't do white but y'all ain't everywhere everywhere everybody got that yellow and, and, and white and it's cute still but yeah, oh, this is of Silver Tone Hardware. I can't wait to, oh my gosh. Okay, y'all, I gotta let y'all go. I gotta let y'all go. Bye. Oh, I want to tell you guys to remember, remember, remember to always, always bless someone else. And remember that when you're down to nothing, God is always up to something. Now you smile and be blessed. Bye.